Because we already know that the perfect woman is Wendy Peffercorn, here are three reasons why Auburn can absolutely beat Texas A&M on the road. Number one, Johnny Manziel's left knee. The injury didn't appear to be as bad as it originally looked, but considering how much of Texas A&M's offense is tied up with Johnny Manziel's athleticism, ability to cut, extend plays, you have to worry that a tweak last week could end up being maybe a little bit worse this week. We hope it isn't, but that's a possibility, and that helps Auburn. Number two, Auburn running the football. The Tigers are a top 20 team against FBS defenses on the ground, and Texas A&M in the 90s defending the rush. If you're gonna go to Kyle Field and come out with an upset win as two touchdown underdogs, it helps be able to run straight at a defense that can't stop you. Nick Marshall should be back near 100%. All those running backs are averaging over five yards a carry, and one of them's last name is Shakespeare. It doesn't really matter, but I like that fact. The Aggies could be a little bit helpless. And number three, Auburn's defensive line. If you're gonna beat Texas A&M on the road, hell, if you're gonna beat any good SEC team on the road, you have gotta have a good defensive line. Early on, it appears that Auburn, with Carl Lawson, the young guy, with all sorts of upperclassmen, Auburn is able to get pressure with only four, which allows that 4-2-5 defense to operate correctly. Guys dropping back into coverage, helping out, and makes beating Texas A&M a little bit easier if you can pressure, perhaps, a hobbled Johnny Manziel. So, Johnny Manziel's left knee, Auburn's rushing attack, and Auburn's defensive line are three reasons why Auburn can absolutely beat Texas A&M on the road. For more on the Tigers, be sure to check out College and Magnolia on the SB Nation Network. We'll see you soon.